Hi, Kevin Lentz, Trinity Badger Ranch. Thanks for joining me for my Monday sermon recap from yesterday morning. Yesterday, the text was Mark 10, verse 15. We'll look at that in a minute. But I began by talking about expressions spoken about by children, where George Bernard Shaw said, the problem with youth is that it's wasted on the young. Or Pastor John Merck said, children are best seen and not heard. So I was trying to set the tone when we talk about children. We know them. We talk about them. They play a big part in today's text. But I began by talking about the kingdom come. We pray it. We know it. It's a very big part of our Lord's Prayer. But you know what it means. So we kind of talked about that and what the catechism says about it. And it's a, a blessing to say that God's kingdom is coming upon us. God, God's kingdom comes even without our asking. So we spent some time on that. Then we talked about how we are part of God's kingdom because of Luke 17 saying that from Jesus said that the kingdom of God is within you. So it's not just this big, massive, huge kingdom. When we think about kingdoms, Jesus said it also, as big as it is, he said the kingdom of God, it lives inside of us. So we give thanks for that, that we're talking about that today. Because today's text from Mark 10, Jesus said, Anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. So we talked about how important that is, how children simply believe what they're taught, don't question, don't push back, don't doubt, don't deny. If they believe the source, mom or dad or teacher or Sunday school teacher or someone that they can believe in, whatever that person says to them, they will simply accept as absolute true. And that's what Jesus said we need to be like little children, have childlike faith when it comes to who we are, accepting God and his word. Not saying, well, I believe this part of scripture, but not that part. I believe this part of that applies to my life, but the, the parts that don't apply to me, uh, that, that, that doesn't matter. Or it's old and ancient. Some of it's still good, but it, it, it's outdated. What God speaks to us still today through his word is as valid as when it was first written and has the same meaning today as it always has. So we give thanks that Jesus said, our faith needs to be like childlike. We need to believe those trusted leaders, in this case, God, Christ, uh, with words that are spoken. The, the parable Jesus spoke still as valid today and still as learnable today from them as well. So we give thanks that Jesus is saying here, be more like a child. Don't, don't look down on them, but, but give thanks for their example. We also talked about the fact that in Hebrews 11, it says that faith is being sure of what you hope for and certain of what you do not see. That's a beautiful passage. I love that verse. Sure of what you hope for, what our hope is in, not yet acquired, which would be our hope in God, our hope in Christ. It's real, but we're not with God in his heavens forever. And certain of what we do not see. We don't see God. We don't see a lot to God. We don't see our sins forgiven. We're going to see our names written in the book of life. We didn't see Christ Jesus die. We weren't there that day. But God's word teaches all that stuff and Christ spoke it and Christ lived it. So we believe it. We don't deny it and say that, well, no, uh, I'm going to hold off on my faith here. No, like childlike faith says that what is spoken is held to as undeniable, absolutely true. And we give thanks for that. I made the point also that who needs proof? The world needs proof. Well, you tell me something, well, prove it to me. Give me testimony. Give me evidence. Give me pictures or something. We don't need proof with God. God is his own proof. And we give thanks for that because he is totally, completely trustworthy and we don't doubt anything that he says. So the whole message today or, you know, yesterday morning was about the wisdom of a child and how blessed that we are to have that wisdom still with us and their example of Believing God at what God says, not denying, not questioning, not turning from, but simply trusting. That's a gift. So that's what uh, the message was about yesterday morning. So thank you for joining me again today, and I'll see you again later. God bless. Bye-bye.